history and evolution of sanctions as necessary and useful measures when states adopt policies that violate their international obligations and endanger community values international sanctions have been the subject of intermittent public and scholarly debate for over 60 years the league of nations covenant and the united nations charter directed sanctions on unlawful use of force united nations context sanctions have also been linked to the defense of human rights. But until 1979, few instances of the use of sanctions were on the record. The short list included League of Nations sanctions against Italy from 1935 to 1936, UN sanctions against Zimbabwe from 1966 to 1979, and an arms embargo against South Africa from 1977. Western governments have imposed penalties against Iran, the Soviet Union, Poland, and Argentina in the past three years. These cases provided a wealth of new material to analyze the efficacy of economic sanctions in achieving their goals. They also raised questions about trends and patterns, particularly the extent to which these measures can be said to have an authoritative status and support community values. After September 11, 2001, economic and financial sanctions became a tool of first resort to address a range of threats to the U.S. national security, foreign policy, and economy. This tool rests on the formidable strength of, and trust in, the U.S. financial system and currency. Sanctions allow U.S. policymakers to impose a material cost on adversaries to deter behavior undermining U.S. national security and signaling a clear policy stance. Work on sanctions is conducted in close partnership with other parts of the executive branch, in particular the Department of State and the National Security Council, or NSC, which lead the formulation of the foreign policy and strategic goals that sanctions serve, as well as the Department of Justice. Over 20 years, different sanctions are successfully employed to address various national security challenges, such as First is preventing Iran from using the international financial system and commercial markets to generate revenue through oil sales and other activities that support its nuclear and ballistic missile proliferation and support for terrorist activities. These sanctions pushed Iran to the negotiating table on its nuclear program in 2015. Second is protecting tens of billions of dollars in Libyan assets from misappropriation by former government officials following civil unrest in the fall of Gaddafi regime in 2011. Lastly, designating over 1,600 terrorist individuals and entities since the 9-11 incident, targeting, exposing, and undermining the group of terrorists.